Hi, this is Sam, and welcome to Ink Logic. The inkling that you may have based on the title as to what we're going to talk about today in this advanced vocabulary video is absolutely spot on. It's time to explore the very topical subject of Halloween and some specific words related to it. In terms of its history, I'll give you a quick lowdown on how it originated, but we won't dwell on how it mutated into today's celebration. Also, there seem to be slightly contrasting versions of how Halloween came to be, but this appears to be the most agreed on series of events. Halloween stems from the Celtic festival Samhain, celebrated on the 31st of October, which was a time of celebration, but also a time when the veil between the world of the living and that of the dead was believed to be at its thinnest, resulting in the ghouls, spirits, ghosts and creatures of the other world potentially being able to cross over into the realm of the living. Lighting bonfires and wearing costumes were seen as ways to ward off the evil spirits, or failing that, the costumes would at least allow the Celts to blend in with the spirits from the other world so they wouldn't be harmed by them. Throughout the years, some elements of this festival were assimilated and incorporated by the church into its Christian calendar, but this is where my history lesson ends. Speaking of the church, in Western Christianity, the 1st of November is All Saints Day. I don't know how much importance and relevance this day has in each country of the world, but it is not a bank holiday in the UK. I have a whole video on bank holidays over here. Just as a fun fact, in Italy, where I grew up, the 1st of November is a bank holiday, and the 2nd of November, which is All Souls Day in commemoration of the dead, is a bank holiday only for schools, both for teachers and students, but not for anyone else. So if you do any other kind of job, you only get the 1st of November off. We all know Halloween is huge in America, and whilst it didn't used to be in the UK, it's progressively becoming more and more ingrained and embedded in our culture. We have all sorts of parties, be it private at someone's house, in pubs, nightclubs, if you like Halloween, you will definitely find something that will tickle your fancy, which is an idiom that we will look at very soon. I don't know how popular the film Hocus Pocus is around the world, but here it's fairly common to watch it for Halloween. It came out in 1993 and last year a sequel was released. They are not cinematic masterpieces in any way, shape or form, but they've somehow managed to become a Halloween cult, at least here in the UK. One of the first things that spring to mind regarding Halloween is Fancy Dress Party, which is a party where people wear costumes, and fancy is the first word we'll be looking at today, mainly because it's extremely popular in British English, but not in American. We use it a lot over here, so it's best to know exactly what it means. In sentences like, I really fancy a coffee right now, or with a verb, do you fancy meeting? up this evening. It means like, want, feel like. He clearly fancies you means that he finds you sexually or physically attractive. That girl I was talking to really fancies herself is a disapproving way to say that she thinks she is very attractive, important and clever. In written and literary English, he fancied he saw something in the tree means he believed he saw something in the tree. This is not extremely common, but when you support a team or a contestant and you think they will win, you can say, I fancy England to win the World Cup, or simply, I fancy England when it's clear that England is one of the teams playing in a match. To fancy someone's chances means to believe that something is likely to happen or succeed, and since it's fairly unlikely to find cheap accommodation in Paris, you can say, I don't fancy our chances of finding cheap accommodation in Paris. He fancies himself a polyglot means that he thinks he is good and skilled enough to be a polyglot. We use this expression usually to mean that it's not actually true, so he may think he's good enough to be a polyglot, but in actual fact he may not be. A very common expression of surprise is fancy plus a verb in ing. So if you go to a party and you see someone that you did not expect to see there at all, you can say 
fancy seeing you here. You can mean this as genuine surprise, but also sarcastically. So you knew your friend would be there and you can just start a conversation sarcastically by using this sentence. Or if I say she's coming to the party, you can express your surprise by saying fancy that. Fancy as a noun means a feeling of wanting and desiring something or someone and usually it doesn't last very long. You can say wanting a cat was just a passing fancy, so a desire that didn't last very long. You can also say phones are very expensive, you can't change them as the fancy takes you, so whenever you want. Did any of those clothes take, catch or strike your fancy means did they catch your attention, do you want them? And going back to what we said earlier, to tickle someone's fancy is an informal way to basically say the same. You can say, I don't know what I want to eat yet, but I'll see what tickles my fancy when I get to the restaurant. For some reason, my manager took a fancy to me during our first project together and has helped me a lot over the years, means that your manager likes or wants you, but not necessarily sexually. It could simply mean that they like you as, a, as an employee, as a worker, so they like the way you work. My proposal is not just a flight of fancy, it means that it's not just an idea full of impractical imagination. It can actually be done. As an adjective, fancy means elaborate, colourful, decorated and unusual. You can say, for my birthday, I just want a quiet dinner at home. Nothing fancy. Or, this year my neighbours have very fancy Christmas decorations. My family took me to a very fancy restaurant for my birthday means expensive, high quality and fashionable. I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff with my phone means all that complicated stuff. It will take some fancy footwork for our lawyer to get us out of this is a not very common way to refer to clever thinking and skills. The most common Halloween expression is trick or treat. Trick can be both a noun and a verb. We'll only be looking at a couple of expressions with it as a noun. To do the trick is an informal way to say to solve a problem or to give the result that you want. So when I feel a little bit peckish, which means slightly hungry, an apple usually does the trick. So it means that you eat an apple and you're full again. You can't teach an old dog new tricks means that it's hard to teach someone new skills or a different way to do things because they can't or don't want to change, especially if they're old. Singers whose voice is not feeling the best can lower the key of songs. It's a trick of the trade. That refers to a clever method that the experts in a specific job know. I've tried every trick in the book to perform at that venue, but they just won't book me, means that I've tried every possible way. As a noun, treat is a food, usually sweet, that you don't eat very often. So you can say, my son will immediately want to eat all the treats he'll get for Halloween. It's also something that brings someone joy and pleasure. He took me to a Rihanna concert as a birthday treat. The fireworks after dinner were a real treat. The entertainment at my party went down a treat means that everyone loved it. And my treat is an expression that you use when you want to say that you're going to pay for something as a treat. So you can say, I'll take you out to dinner, my treat. With this meaning, you can also use treat as a verb. So he treated me to dinner means that he paid for my dinner as a treat. And that's it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or to subscribe to my channel down below. And do let me know in the comments if you have any questions and if and how you celebrate Halloween in your country. In the meantime, I will see you next Tuesday with another explanation video.